Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And this is Young Womanhood 101, where I share about healthy lifestyles, self-care, college, fashion, being young and married, and all of the above. That is what is on this channel, and if you like that kind of content, then make sure to subscribe. But today we're going to be doing advice from a college senior, because I'm actually going to be a senior in college, which is insane. So without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. I can't believe I'm about to be a senior. I have been in college for four years already, so I'm going into my fifth year. It's a long story of why that's the case, but I've spent most of my college career commuting, and I did live on campus for almost a full year before COVID, and then I got sent home, but I have experienced different sides of college, so I wanted to give you my advice on all of it. Here is five tips on how to have a great college experience. Whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, whatever grade you're in, this will apply to you. Number one, know when something is not working for you. Being in college is the time for you to actually figure out what you enjoy and what you're passionate about. And it's really a great time for self-discovery. So many times I see college students in majors they don't even like or in clubs, sports, organizations that they don't even care about just because they feel like they need to be in them or someone told them that they need to be involved in those things. And I was even one of those college students. I was in a major that I used to be passionate about, but my passion just was not there anymore. I was really scared to switch my major because I was scared of what people would think. I used to be a worship major and I was thinking in the terms of the Christian community, that people would just think I was not as great of a Christian because I didn't want to be a worship leader anymore. But that is not the case at all because God gives us different passions and different desires to extend his kingdom. So now I'm a communications major. I think what's so important for young adults is to have the self-awareness to know when something is not working for you and to have the confidence to actually change your situation or make decisions that are good for you. Number two is to get involved on campus. This is like one of my biggest regrets of my college career. I was working a job off campus, so most of my time was spent at my job and I wasn't really involved in anything on campus and it was really hard for me to meet anybody because of that. And honestly, I don't have a ton of friends at school because of that, but if you are wanting to make friends to get lasting friendships from your college experience, I definitely recommend getting involved. Especially if you're a freshman and you're just starting college, I encourage you to try a bunch of different organizations out and just see which one works for you and where you find community on campus. Number three, you are not who you were in high school. I feel like that would be fairly obvious, but it isn't. <laughs> Most freshmen in college expect that they will get the same grades, have the same friends, and have the same social standing in college that they had in high school, but this is just not the case. College is a whole new world. <laughs> the hardest part for me specifically was not getting the same grades that I was used to. I used to be a straight A student. I rarely got Bs and in college I was actually struggling to get Bs in some classes and I just didn't understand why that was happening. And I was putting so much pressure on myself, but I have to realize this is a different world. It's definitely a lot harder than high school. And I just have to do my best and not put the pressure on myself to be who I was in high school. College is a time where you can allow yourself to change, to grow, and to ease the pressure off yourself to grow up in a, your college experience. Number four, everyone is on their own path. This has been so hard for me to grasp lately because most of my friends in my life right now are not in college at all. And most of them are just focused on their careers and some of them are married. Some of them are even having kids at this point and everyone is just on a different path. So for me, I often will compare my path to theirs because I'm thinking, wow, I'm still in college, I'm 22, I just need to move on. 
but really that is not the point. Everyone is on their own journey and doing their own thing and doing what's best for them. God has a plan for each and every one of us. So remind yourself that you are on your own journey. This is just all part of the process despite what is going on around you, what everyone else is doing. Number five is to create the education that you want to have. When I was deciding to change my major, I had lunch with my mom to talk about it. And one of the things that she reminded me is I'm paying thousands of dollars to go to this school and I want to learn what I want to learn. I don't want to learn things in a major just because they're required, you know? So when I changed to my current major, which is strategic communications, I realized that there were no classes about social media. I go to a very small school, so I wasn't really expecting that. But I started doing research on my own and I found a class that is about social media and I'm going to take it even if it's not going to further my major or fulfill any requirements. I want to take it because that's something I'm interested in. You have to be your own advocate when it comes to your education at this point in your life because majors and minors and all these things may not line up with your interests, but if you're your own advocate and you decide what you want to do and what interests you, then you'll get the most out of your education and what you're paying for. Learn about what you want to learn about. This is why people add minors sometimes because they're interested in more than one thing. But this is the time to do it. You have the freedom in college, so you might as well. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys!